As our second session, in this project, we will investigate the Poise flow in a pipe using the concept of axisymmetric simulation. Now, in this type of simulation, we, our geometry is in two dimensions, but the software will consider it as a 3D object with the advantage of lowering our computational cost. In this project, we also enable the energy equation and calculate the Nusselt number value on the wall of the pipe. Now, as our first step, just like the previous project, we click on fluid flow block and drag it into the blank space and double click on the geometry part. If you can remember correctly, in the previous project, we created our geometry using the sketching method. Now, in this project, we will create our geometry using points. To create a point, we click on create button and then select point. After selecting the command point on the low left side of the software window in front of the definition, we change it to manual input. After that, under the point group section, we enter the coordinates of our first point, which would be on the starting point of our coordinates. After entering the values of X, Y, and Z, as you can see in this window, we click on Generate, and the software will create this point for us. Now we need our second point. To create that point, just like the previous slide, again, we click on Create and then select Point. Now, again, in order to be able to enter the coordinates of our second point, we again change the definition section to Manual Input. Now this time, in front of the Y coordinate section, we enter the value of 0.02 .02 meter, since we want our pipe to have a radius of 2 centimeters. Now the value you see here is the average value of Nusselt number. You also can see the values of local Nusselt number along the wall boundary. To extract the diagram of changes in local Nusselt number along the wall boundary, we expand the plot and then double click on XY plots. In the appeared window under the Y axis function, we select wall fluxes and underneath it we select nusselt number. After that, under the surfaces section, we select the wall boundary. In this diagram, you can see the values of local nusselt number having a very high value at the inlet boundary and almost nearing a constant value at the outlet boundary. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.